Don't mind my Mimi from the Drew Carey look. <laughs> Hi, babe. I love this love emoji. You know, we do have to do love documentary part two. Inshallah, right? Boo, I should yeah, fortune teller. <laughs> I cannot tell you your future because it's haram. I haven't worn this in a long time. It's been sitting in my thing, my dresser drawer. And I'm like, I never wear it. I don't know. I just can't seem to retire it. From my when I the days when I shave my head. Play some Fortnite with Amber Lynn. I don't like Fortnite. I don't think so. So um, I wanted to ask somebody to remind me to put the chicken back in the fridge <laughs> before I go, bef like at the end of the stream, if you can remember, because I have bad memory. <clears throat> That's what I said at the beginning, Brenda. I beat you to it. The Mimi joke, I beat you to it. Did you unblock everyone? No, not yet. I have to go through, um, you know, hello. <laughs> put the chicken in the fridge. No, because the thing is, is like it's defrosting because I'm going to cook it tomorrow. <laughs> Mike and Ghostface. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I can't read Arabic, so I don't know what that says. The name says maybe Salah can. Yeah, you know the real haters. I can cook. Yeah, I can cook. When I do, <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow I have to. Uh, you know what's the most attractive thing? Oh, I can't. There's too many. <laughs> He's so handsome. Danny Fowler, you're on a pill made alcohol from grape juice and yeast or snuck edibles. Your buzz, I can tell 100%. Well, Tia, think what you want. It's okay. <laughs> but no. <laughs> I would make my own alcohol. <laughs> Actually, there was an episode of 90 Day Fiance where, the, you know what? Maybe the, the eyeliner makes my eyes look and I'm super tired. Mm. When I take my pill, um, after a while, I get drowsy a bit, yeah. Just unblock everyone. Well, I, I mean, it took me seven years to make the block list I have now. You seemed a bit crazed. There's nothing wrong with being crazy. What happened to the sleep schedule improvements? Well, they're in the works. It might take a while, but, <laughs> you know, jet lagged. Yeah, actually still a bit. Do I wear any other shoes? No. Actually, I have some shoes in the spare room that I don't, I can't wear them. They're, they just are so uncomfortable. One is like a pair of pink um, pointed toe flats. And they're just like a bit big and they flop and they're annoying. And they have like no support. Like, honestly, like I need shoes with like some cushion and support. So, but like, um, yeah, anyway. Those are the only shoes I have right now, unfortunately. So I guess I could buy new shoes, but I feel like, what's the point? These are kind of new, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should buy more shoes. Hello, Richard. What are you doing? I love how you guys all say, what are you doing? Do any of you like use any of my weird, stupid sayings in real life and like curse me for it every time you do it? Thank you for never putting me on that block list, although I've been annoying. <laughs> Everyone's been annoying, even me. Have you went to the fashion mill, Amara? Stuff for 1.5 dinar oh, fashion mill. No, where is it? What part of Kuwait? I would love to go and check that out. I love bargains, especially clothes. Like, I'm so sick and tired of always having to spend at Pennington's. Even Centerpoint is expensive, their shirts and stuff. Unless they have a good sale. But yeah, if I could get like decent clothes for a discount price, that would be awesome. Pennington's and Torrid are so expensive. Ugh. And if you're ordering Torrid from Canada, there's like an extra that's like, I think I had to pay $50 delivery once, but I don't know. They might have free delivery now. I only block those I love, Carolina, so don't feel bad. <laughs> um, are you going to do any cooking videos, homemade pasta? Yeah, I just got to be, like, in the mood. I got to work harder. <laughs> yeah. But yes, Charles. All welcome. Yes, sort of. <laughs> Would you ever do six-hour long bathroom toilet streams? Oh, no. I don't think so. I would be too uncomfortable. Maybe if my bathroom had a bed in it and I could lay like a seal, yeah. Please don't tell me those are the same sketches you wore to Thailand. No, 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 no. Um, what sketches did I have in Thailand? I don't even remember. But no, these are like new. I got a new pair, I think, for Christmas. My mom bought me. <laughs> you deserve nice things. Thank you, Lizette. I have a lot of like loyal beezers. Like most of my loyal beezers, they like sometimes don't even chat for like months. But they, I'm like so surprised when they still have their memberships. Like you, Norma Jean, or um, the White Knight. Like what the heck? Um, oh, a lot of you. It's like crazy. I look like a mermaid princess. What if I tie these? Will it look like not less? Well, that looks, no, I don't like how that looks. I like these little things. But what if, what about without it? See, it's boring without it. Anyway, I feel too, too jazzy. It's too, it's too loud for me right now. So anyways, love your makeup. Thank you. <laughs> um, like one minute, I'm like, I'm going to be more modest with makeup. And then the next minute, me. <laughs> anyways. I don't know what to talk about, honestly. I'm just like, just wanted to bees, I guess. 
I was gonna take you guys out to the beach at night, but I'm afraid of like, I don't know if sand fleas are a thing here, but they were in Cuba. Yeah, they, they really bite you. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Kevin's going to, going to uh, jail. <laughs> Beezer jail. It is, yeah, summer started, Brittany just started, but it's usually maybe 27, 28 at night, and then in the day it will go up to like 34, so it's still climbing. 80s Jane Fonda, you know what? You know what? I think you nailed it. Google, I think you, I think hey Google nailed it. I'm secretly inspired by the, the Jane Fonda videos. By the way, I made a mistake. There's a part one and a part two. So part one is her full body like stretch and like workout, like body, like uh, exercises. And part two of the complete workout is the aerobics, which is brutal. An hour and something of straight aerobics. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but I have like an exercise mat that I put down and I have a chair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it again. I'm not going to be doing it tomorrow. I can't finish it, obviously. But I do what I can and I, I want to aim to complete it and feel like if I could do it again like before, I'll feel on top of the world. The glasses. Thank you. I get so many compliments. It's a collagen one. Oh yeah, West Coast last. Uh, your comment about being boring. Well, I know my problem in life is I make promises that I can't keep, but I don't realize that because I overestimate my abilities in life and uh, I procrastinate and never end up starting what I say I'm going to do. So yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> so I have the intention and I have like, I have content planned out, but I hope to do it soon. Anyways, as for new content, um, it's going to be mixed in with old stuff, regular stuff that I do. And um, it's going to be more new, like when we travel, like we have travel plans and, um, you know, doing things on the couples channel that are more new. Yeah, here it's mostly just going to be same old, same old kind of, but I do hope to do more. Um, see, I don't even want to say, I wasn't going to say it because I don't know, <laughs> like I don't want to disappoint people, but I do want to go back to trying to do a vlog uh, of, you know, like almost daily or whatever of trying to improve my fitness you know people mock me for the six-pack thing and everything and I don't know maybe I'll be maybe I'll be like the next huge bodybuilder who knows you never know <laughs> oh the Dead Sea yeah didn't you want to tell them something about that babe or did you already leotard <laughs> look I'm gonna do swimming vlogs inshallah if it works out I we have a pool I might swim okay we'll see how it goes the only thing I'm like legit scared of is like the ladder to get out like I can get in by swinging my legs around and getting in the pool on the shallow end but you've never followed through with anything. Why would I know no one's going to think I have a six pack until I have a six pack. Okay. I'll be stuck in the pool. <laughs> what I'm going to wear actually is some leggings and, um, an undershirt and like a flowy shirt, not in a bias. So I have to, I have to swim fully clothed, but that's okay. I just, yeah. Public pools, man. So I have the pool. I have this building, like there's stairs. So I can just start utilizing the stairs to get used to to get some stairs are brutal but they will they will get you in shape like nothing else especially in your um for some reason does it doesn't your abdomen hurt after going up many stairs i don't know if i like tighten my muscles or something but after i go up a lot of stairs my abdomen muscles hurt burkini i don't think i could get one my size and they'd be too clingy for me um and your legs they rip your legs so yeah swim <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna be a vlog or a live i don't know take the stairs to the floor under yours to start with ah uh, yeah I, yeah like gradually go up you know boobies a burkini is like a muslim modest bikini <laughs> it's like a burqa bikini but you don't cover your face it's like hijab the elevator stairs work everything yeah right so even if i have to take a break i'll do two levels sit or just even just stand and catch my breath that's why i used to go to my grandma's when i used to be really scared of her elevator but in the later years i wasn't scared of her elevator as much i really want to make shisha i got to be up early though I'm trying to get on my schedule, I'm telling you. But no matter how late I stay up tonight, I'm I'm getting up and I'm doing what I got to do, you know? Whenever you, like, work for yourself and have to do things for yourself, it's hard. It's, like, either, like, the motivation, you know? Like, if you have a normal job, you have a boss, right, keeping you in check. That's their job. How many inches my hair? On Sheen? My hair... I know this is dramatic, but I think I'm going to boycott Sheen because I saw... I don't know if this is true or not. That's the only thing. I have to verify it before I boy, boycott I've seen that, I've heard that they stole other, like, artists' art for their, like, campaigns, like, their um, advertisements, and I saw an advertisement of, like, I saw on TikTok, like, a video of, like, or was a picture 
of Sheen employ they're like Sheen employers <laughs> colon and there was like people passed out on the ground with all linens like holding linens and like just sleeping right then and there because they're so exhausted I don't know if that's true or not because there's a lot of false information um and defamation online you have to be careful but if that's the case that's just China in general I don't know elevators tend to start looking less scary when it's between that and climbing a hundred stairs yeah <laughs> it depended you know i was like hmm if i go to my grandma's before burger king then i i can walk up the stairs if i go after then i'm taking the elevator and i'm just gonna risk it i'm just kidding <laughs> I've, I've contemplated it but i'm too i would be too scared i'm so claustrophobic <clears throat> yeah i gotta think of like consistency not perfection that's why whenever people hi pause champ really don't um Oh, the babe, I watched a vlog. We should watch it together after the, because we, we do, yeah, I would love to go to the Great Wall of China. You know why? Because it's a physical challenge. So I would love to do that. That's my walking challenge because I saw a vlogger I watch, um, Doug Barnard, and he said that sometimes on the wall, first of all, there's only a section of the wall that you can't access. The rest is all, you know. Um, and then sometimes there's small stairs. That's fine. Sometimes there's big ones that are knee high. What the heck? I can't do that. I'll break my knees. Most things use slave labor in some way. Yeah, you're right, Meep. If I, I'd, I'd probably have to boycott half of the things I have. <laughs> That's true. Anyway. He did. What? Don Julio? That's very strange. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know who, so one channel, he asked me the YouTube channels I watch. Okay, let me put my coals on, okay? Give me a second. What was that? Was that a ghost? <laughs> this isn't funny. Oh, lighten up. Did you guys like Howie? <laughs> Did I leave the house today? Brenda, why? What? What do you think? Do you think I left the house today? I don't leave the house every single day. There's no way I want to do that. <sighs> This is the shisha. <laughs> the water area. <laughs> it looks like an exhaust hose. <laughs> kind of, eh? A little bit. I don't even know if I know what an exhaust hose looks like, actually. Okay, so this is the tobacco. So ingredients made in Jordan. Content. Tobacco, honey, glycerin, and flavor. So that's what's in it. <laughs> no gravy flavor. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I have to have a small snack because I'm very, I don't want to smoke with nothing. Like, it's 12.44 a.m. Chocolate croissant. Yes, it has carbs and yes, it has sugar. Probably a lot too. <laughs> because shisha's like, can make you feel a bit lightheaded. And if I'm a little bit hungry, I find I feel more sick if I don't, you know. Does it bother my lungs? No, not the time that I'm doing it, but maybe like the day after I'll feel a bit wheezy. So I try not to smoke a lot, but tonight I really wanted one. Oh, my hair. It's like, it's long. It's like to hear. Well, long for me. Anyways, welcome everybody.
It smells like a campfire because of the coals. But yeah, I have the AC on very low right now. I mean, like, the temperature is low in here. It grew a lot. Yeah, Mila. Yeah, I never wear hijab when I'm at home without anyone here, like, or watching me. Like, you know what I mean? Do you think Kuwait is perfect for me? Nothing is perfect. But I know what I mean. I was having Charles a croissant with chocolate in the middle. Look at it this way. Like, obviously, Islam, like, it's like knowing that the more natural, the better, right? Just be happy with, like, God's how God made you. Did you know I have a chicken? Remember? Remind me to put it in the freezer. Um, chicken. And I have all that leftover Bukhari rice from today. So we're, I'm going to, like, just re -jazz, like jazz that up a bit and cook a chicken. Uh, what kind of vegetables do I have? Cucumber, lettuce, tomato, onion. Yeah, I'll make a salad. A salad with it. Making the salad is my least favorite part of any meal. What do you guys think? All the chopping? And I don't have an ad adequate knife. <gasps> yeah, I've got to get a better knife, babe. I can't find my little black paring knife. I miss it. What's that smell? I smell some trolls. You can smell them out better than me, Meep. That's why you're mod. No, okay. I don't have a problem with some trolls, but some are just like, yeah, I know what you mean. Probably have spuds and broccoli on the sides. Okay, and what is your protein source? Oh. <laughs> they have a lot of American stuff. Shake Shack. What else? Okay, the things I love to do when I feel like when I'm well enough to do them, I like to go to the beaches and parks. Um, they have a lot. Uh, the malls. I don't usually love malls, but the malls here just are a different vibe. So I like the malls here. Everyone is just like calm. <laughs> and they're so big and clean and luxurious. Like, I don't know. Travel to the UK. Do we have plans? Um, not anytime soon. No, there's like a big list of places to go before, before there. I'm not sure if I want to. I'm not going to attempt to go to every single country. Laura, you have to answer that, babe. What country do you want to travel to? Them? Nepal, Maldives, Iran, Malaysia. Yes. I for sure definitely want to go to Malaysia and I want to go to China. Like, no, I hate crafting. I like journaling, like I'm planning. My meatball recipe is a mess. People were making fun of me. They're like, wait, you put cilantro, cumin? <laughs> I try to make them a little bit Middle Eastern tasting because for Salah, he eats it with rice. And me, I don't care what kind of spices are in it. I can just put a ton of parm cheese on it, so. No way, they charged you for the parm? I would never eat there again. Never. <laughs> Babe. Oh, really, Kit? No, I never smoke cigarettes ever. So I need to get in shape. That's why I want to do the vlogs, because I have to get in shape, and it's, like, time-consuming, like, planning and exercising and stuff and making fresh food, making good food, or I don't know. You know what I mean? So if I have to do it anyway, I might as well just vlog it. Entertainment City here. Yeah, you mean when I want to go to Winter Wonderland too at some point. And walking. Yeah, it's really good exercise. No, I'm not going to go outside to smoke a whole shisha. It takes an hour. It's more like vapor and it just dissipates instantly. There's no like smoke residue. Sorry guys, is that rude? <laughs> Blowing in your face. Her cat is fine. Don't be dramatic. She's not even in here. See, there's like no smoke. <laughs> Yeah, it does get cold, John, here at night. In the desert, anyway. When we went camping, it was so cold. Not like winter, but... <sighs> she binged again? Well, she has binge eating disorder, so yeah, what's the surprise? <laughs> oh. And the shisha makes me, like, relaxed. I always feel like you're 30. Oh, no. I'm older. I know, I need to wear my glasses. I don't know. They're in the other room and I'm always lazy. You know? Would you go camping? Yes, in the winter we'll go camping again for sure. I don't even think I camped this past winter. No, I didn't. I missed it. I should have camped. I've, well, I went to Canada twice this winter. Oh my gosh. In early spring. What a trip to make just like that. <laughs> so 
I don't know how I do this to myself, but it's, it's, you know what though? It's not that, that, that bad. I find the 12 hours on the plane goes by fast, so sort of. With heat as beezers, yes. Yeah, it's gonna be hot this summer. It will, unfortunately. But that's Kuwait, like it's super hot. It's like the hottest country. I don't know, Cuban cake slice, why the two trips? I guess I was, I just feel like I always say like, like in a tug of war between my family and home, like place in like Canada, my, where I was born. And then my new life here, you know? It's like one and yeah, I need to get to bed soon. <sighs> so guys, I'm tired. Thank you for, uh, that's a collagen lipstick or lip gloss. Um, thanks for beezing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed soon. Bye. Bye, Carolina. Bye, everybody. Another live after. Oh, no, I'm tired. Maybe uh, tomorrow or something. We'll see. I'm sure I'll see you guys again. Inshallah. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, I know the time difference is crazy. See you guys. Have a good night.